All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So today we're gonna to be looking at the Doogee S100. Now I do a lot of Doogee phones on this on this channel because they're actually really good devices and they work in the United States on, on a lot of the carriers that are GSM unlocked. Uh, and you can use them uh, without a case. That's, that's the purpose of these rugged phones. And they're getting better. So the last time I brought you a Doogee device, things didn't turn out the way I wanted to. So hopefully this time I'll be a little bit more cautious and uh, get my normal spill out here on these so I can give you some follow-ups on it. But this is the Doogee S100. This is a very nice device and it's packing some punches here. Okay, so you've got a 6.58 inch display coming in at 1080 by 20, uh, 2408, uh, basically a 1080p display. Uh, and it's got a 108 megapixel camera. Now that is a Samsung sensor, by the way, but it, it can't shoot 4K or 8K. And I believe that's because of the limitations of the processor. That's what I would assume. Uh, but it, it, it has a sensor, 108 megapixels, uh, and there's a Samsung chip in there, but it can shoot 2K. And the processor inside is the Helio G99. Now you do have 12 gigs of onboard RAM, and eight gigs expansion. So companies now are selling this as 20 gigs of RAM. And you know, in a sense, it really is. 10,800 milliamp hour battery. So again, I'm gonna take it easy this time, try to get as much out of this device as I can so I can give you a follow up. You've got a hybrid dual SIM uh, setup on here. IP68 and IP69K dust and water resistant. Uh, this should be really nice. Drop to concrete resistant is 1.5 meters, up to 1.5 meters. So um, I, I definitely went over that before with my other one. <laughs> but anyway, we're, we're gonna keep this pushing. Uh, so you got Corning Gorilla Glass. It's a 20 by nine aspect ratio. So this will be really, um, it's gonna be really nice. So you have also a micro SD card slot and you have 256 gigs of onboard storage. So, you know, just keep note of that. You've got lots of storage on this device. And many of these devices don't really cost that much in comparison to a lot of other devices. Now they do, this is a brick. Um, it is a brick, but you're not buying this for it to, uh, you're not buying this because you want to have a nice lightweight device. You're buying this because you want something that's gonna be rugged and can handle itself in the elements. Look at that, that is that is a beautiful. We'll get to design in a second here. But it does have a 20 megapixel night vision camera with two infrared lights. You can see them there. So that that's pretty nice. 16 megapixel ultra wide and the default 108 megapixel is a wide angle. Uh, and then you have a 16 megapixel ultra wide. If I didn't say that, I think I might've said that. The front uh, is a 32 megapixel wide. And it also does 2K video. So I think this is come, gonna come down to the limitations of the actual chip as to why it cannot do um, 4K or 8K uh, on this on this device here. It's gotta be the limitations of the chip because you know Samsung's cameras obviously are really good. So uh, this has Type-C obviously, it is 2.0, but it does have uh, OTG. Uh, and so it has NFC, it has stereo speakers, it has a side-mounted fingerprint reader, um, it's got a 66 watt wire charging and it also has wireless charging. So I like that they give you goodies in the box. Now, whether I use this or not is another thing, but you do have an extra screen protector for it to get scratched up, your manuals and everything here. And then you have that big 66 watt charger. Uh, yeah. And then you've got your type C to type C. So let's get this ball rolling here um as you can see here on the front you've got it's telling you what things are now rather rip i mean let me let me say this if rugged phones like to, for me this isn't too bulky this because you know sometimes i'll wear an outer box or something or i'll wear a subcase and so those appear to be bulky to people but it's it's really not if in fact rugged phones can become thinner I would I would totally rock a rugged phone like 24 hours a day because I don't like to wear cases. Sometimes uh, when I go outside, I don't wear cases around the house. And if rugged phones got thinner, they would be a win. Like remember when Samsung used to do rugged phones? Yeah. So you've got your volume up and down over here. You got your power button right there. And remember that doubles as a fingerprint reader right there. And the volume rocker is textured like a ridged and it is nice folks it is nice and on this side here you can see you got your spot for your sim tray and sd card and then this is a programmable uh side button right here they always have these right here 
Let me see if I can get my bifocals. Yep, custom button. That's really small font. Custom button here where I can program that to be like a flashlight or whatever. Uh, and on the bottom here, it's letting you know that you have your Type C and charging information, charging cable down there. And it is covered because this is IP68 and 69. So it snaps into place really nice. And you got your noise cancel microphone. Uh, and there we are. So it looks like I powered it up. But going around the uh, hardware here, that's good. Uh oh, I'm peeling off the screen protector. All right. That's a looking like it's really good. All right. So, um, going around the hardware here, as I power that off real quick, this is the camera setup right here on, on the back. This is a beautiful looking array here. I mean, it's reminiscent of some other phones, but you can only do so much when you're trying to create a product without coming close to what something else looks like. Now this obviously looks exactly like the VMAX in this camera area and this material here. I really like how they're doing this. This is all raised and textured. The entire device is full of texture. I mean, I mean, and this is because of that drop protection. You, you're just going to have tons of grip on here. Like I said, for me, this isn't a bulky device. It is nice. You've got the metal along the sides. You can see all the screws and everything that's holding it together. Uh, metal here, metal SIM tray tip on there. And the back camera glass housing is obviously protected. Now on the um, corners here, you've got, now one of these is a speaker and the other speaker is down here. So the speakers are right there. So on the corner, but it's a nice design here. It looks like there's four speakers when there's there's two speakers. You see, it's, it's, it's two, two spots and two spots. Uh, but on the corners here, you've got all this big jumbo drop protection. Just, yeah, th this is going to be a rugged foam. So let's go ahead and take you through the basics here. Uh, I'm not going to sign. I'm going to skip this for now. I will set up offline. I want to get into the, well, I'll set up online because I want to have the, I want to have the date uh, in here properly so let's get this like this feedback on these keyboards are always good this is a pretty much a stock android device uh and that's just what it is so uh i'll skip the rest of this though so i can get you into the device here a lot of people don't like this cutout anymore i've just grown so used to it it doesn't even bother me anymore i don't, I don't see what the big deal is this phone actually comes in black blue and yellow I was hoping they sent over the blue. That was my special request, but I guess the ice blue couldn't make it. And this is called classic black uh, because black goes with everything. And then you have cyber yellow. So we're not going to copy anything. Uh, we're going to flow straight through this uh, and try to get you to the home screen as quick as possible here. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this device. When I heard I could get it in, I was like, wow, this is, I love these rugged phones. And if you ever ask yourself, well, Jay, what do you do with all these rugged phones? Well, I use them. If I'm going to a concert or if I'm going to some gathering or something of that nature, and I do not want to run the risk of, you know, my phone getting dropped and, you know, just any anything, anytime you think I cut the grass, you know what I mean? Like something. Think of a time where, um, you know, you would need to have some kind of protection on your phone and that is how i use these phones and a lot of times i i give them away to family members too um a lot of some of my siblings work in in areas uh oh no gestures uh some of my siblings work in areas where you know they their, their environment is pretty tough and so they might need something like this and and they really enjoy it so uh here we go this is how it comes so the first thing i want to do is go into settings before i make any adjustments I'll show you here. You got airplane mode, your SIM and data, your Wi-Fi, uh, other wireless connections. This is going to be your Bluetooth, your NFC. NFC is always turned on on these, and you see it has the little NFC, the old style NFC tag on the top up there. <laughs> That's the old style NFC tag. So um, NFC, Bluetooth. You've got casting nearby Android Auto. You've got everything on here. I mean, this is a stock Android device, and it is running Android 12, by the way, for those that might want to know. And your notifications here, everything is here. You've got all the same stuff as any other um, 
any other Android stock Android device. Now you see here it says a blink light. That's because it has a notification light up top. So uh, be be mindful of that. I think that's really cool that it has a notification light. A lot of times these place these uh, devices don't have notification lights, and I think that's kind of a bummer that they don't have notification lights. But it is what it is. So we'll go ahead and set this to uh, let's just do ten minutes. Uh, and then you've got the wallpapers here. Let's see if it even comes with any wallpapers. Sometimes I've gotten some of these in and it just didn't come with a wallpaper. And I was like, wow, this is that sucks. I really would have liked to switch to wallpaper by default. But it looks like this one has plenty of wallpapers. Duji has done great with when it comes to, you know, having a selection of that's pretty cool right there. I like that. Uh, having a selection of wallpapers on their uh, devices. Wow, these they've got a pretty nice selection on here. And these are starting to get into the older ones that was on there, those ones that look like uh, OnePlus devices. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and go back to the default here. Actually, you know what, let's let's switch this. I like that one over here, Look, the orange looking one. Where is that? This one right here. Let's set that. That's pretty cool, yeah. And so here is obviously I'm in the display settings here and the display is set to about half. It's on auto bright. So you can see there that it actually gets really, really uh, bright. It's going to do very well. So you now, this is also when you can charge your LED indicator up there shows you missed events, low battery and your charge. And then you have the top screen where you can actually take it away. I don't know why a person would want to take this away at this point. You should be used to it. You're getting a little bit more resolution up top. Uh, and here we go. Here we go. So this is a 120 hertz refresh rate. Now you can set this to auto refresh rate, but I would just say with a 10,000 milliamp hour battery inside, set it to 120 hertz. But you do have the option for 90, 60, and uh, 120 hertz. So uh, obviously I go straight to that. And that's the thing about these rugged devices now. They're getting they're getting like high end features like. I don't understand why I, per I, I get I, I, here's what I think is going to happen at some point rugged phones are going to become thin and people are going to start to buy them they're going to stretch out the screen all the way to the edges you know things that are going to help it be more appealing to the masses and I think they will sell a lot of these especially on the Android front so that's your display and sounds um, basic loudspeaker that's a really nice loudspeaker. These speakers, speakers on these devices normally are really loud because they're facing you uh, and it, it's just what it is. That is just a loud, loud ringtone. So uh, you've got all your touch sounds and everything down here uh, and it's just sound enhancements, hi-fi mode, you can turn that on and that's why you're getting that extra loud uh, noise is coming from that speaker. So security, obviously, you have um, face more than likely. Yet there's face. Let's set up the fingerprint real quick, uh, and we'll just do our default pin here, and we'll get into do not show, uh, and then uh, okay, finger. Let's go ahead and add one, and we're gonna go ahead and and touch it here. That auto rotate is actually really good. And it's going when I do these unboxings and I'm looking at these devices like this uh, and I'm setting them up, I'm really judging how it's doing out of the box. And I'm not doing any major um, installs. Like, obviously, when I get some of these, I want to get right into the device uh, and I want to show you what's in there, like bloatware and settings. Because believe it or not, I have a really big market for these rugged phones. Like, people on my channel. They enjoy these rugged phones, man, and, and, and a lot of people buy them. Uh, or it's because I have people watching me from other countries as well. And because sometimes they're searching for the device and, you know, they're open. So they're able to see uh, other regions. And so that's why I like to go through these rugged phones, because it gives them some sense of, you know, what the phone is going to be like. And you get to see a quick glimpse of it before you actually buy it. So this is the fingerprint reader setup. Very detailed. This is what the stock Android fingerprint reader looks like. I don't know where it gives this many presses sometimes when I do it, but it is going to work just golden. And uh, I'll do face. We'll show you face. Okay. Try to, you can see a little bit of that. 
See, the face is really fast, so that lets you know it's not really that secure, I would say. Uh, but fingerprint reader is always gonna be fast and secure. So there's your fingerprint reader. Let's check face. And there's the face. So you see how fast that see how fast that is. So that's why I say, you know, you know, just be mindful of the face one. Uh, because you can unlock your device and and you could get in there and uh yeah, it could be pretty detrimental if you don't if you're in a in an area that's not safe and they can steal your information. So uh you've got your apps here, it's just letting you know all your apps and everything on there. You got your battery. I like to show the battery percentage outside the battery, but when it shows inside the battery, I don't like that. So I always turn it off. As you can see here, uh, the battery percentage, look up here. See, I was putting it inside the battery percentage. I, I don't like that. I just don't like that. I, I just don't think it looks right. It's, it's, you can't read it. It's too small. At least for me, it is. So you got your battery management. You always, it always has this right here turned on. I leave it on by default. And you also have a battery saver mode as well. You can schedule that. Uh, but you know, ultimately, this should have really good battery. Now here's storage. This is what I really want to show you. This is 256 gigs, and the system uses 6.5 gigs. So a lot of people have been um, complaining uh, and had some thoughts about why their their newer devices, like their Ultras and these devices right here, are using so much system. Well, there's there's a lot of stuff going on in that system. This is pretty much just stock Android. So, and as you can see, I haven't loaded anything on here yet. So I have 240 gigs basically available to myself to use. And so you've got all your things down here, your side key. Let's get into the side key. Now the side key one click is dangerous. So be sure that, <laughs> uh, be sure that when you have this function turned on with a single click, it's something that, you know, needs a single click and that you won't accidentally hit it. So by default, it's set to none on this app, but you can do it on one click and you can do it with the flashlight. So just, just hit it once and there's your light. But I tend to have the default for the single click off and I tend to do like a double click or a long press for something. And you can do anything, anything that's on the phone, you can pretty much have it set. So. We'll do an app and we'll do YouTube for the double click and and it launches YouTube. So let's get back into settings. And that is your side key. And you have, you have your digital well-being. Most people don't like that for some reason, uh, but it doesn't bother me. So let's go ahead and expand this out to eight. It'll reboot itself. I didn't mean to do that so quickly. I meant to change it to eight, <laughs> uh, but we're gonna go ahead and um, do it once again you get to see the boot up but in the meantime this is overall some solid hardware i wanted to give you a rundown of the specs uh and and show you what this was all about so i always give you this really detailed once over the first time uh and um I, i'll check a couple of photos here in a second and, and show you how good this these cameras could possibly be for you uh but in the end it's booting up fairly fast. Now, here's some uh, initial boot up. Remember the initial boot up? Um, how long it took. And now that I'm actually signed in and, I'm, and I've got a little bit of time in with it, you can see the difference. And we're going to get into the home settings. We're not done. Uh, let's go to uh, RAM expansion and put it all the way over to eight is what I was planning on doing. So now I can reap the rewards of that full 20 gigs of RAM. So again, this is the big box that it comes in right here. Uh, nothing fancy. Uh, this is how they do it. Uh, and it, it always has the little brand. I can't tell you, um, I, you, you have no idea how, how many of these yellow boxes are in my storage. <laughs> I mean, and remember, I give a lot of these phones away to family members. Um, I, I can't tell you how many of these yellow style boxes and any of the ones that say Doogee, there's some that are white, they have Doogee also. Remember the white boxes from Doogee? If you've been using Doogee long enough, this is their kind of their new design and it has like the, the design of the, the model and what it offers down here. I think that's actually pretty cool. I can't tell you how many of these yellow boxes I have in my storage. You, you have no idea. So we are back up now. We officially have 20 gigs of RAM in rotation at our disposal. The 8 gig expansion pretty much takes some of your onboard memory and it pushes it up and puts it into use if you actually need it. 
So you've got um, your system. Let's check for a system update. Let's see what we got going on here. All right, check for updates. Network connection failed. I don't know why it's saying that the network connection is failing, but I clearly have network connection. And yeah, I don't know what that's about, but we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to dig into it. Maybe because it's still booting, I don't know. Um, let's see here, let's try again. Cause I get a thousand messages all of a sudden. Yeah, it looks like it just hadn't latched onto the network. And here is the download. I, I, I told you guys it's always something. So uh, this was released on in December. Uh, and this is going to give us 50 megabytes. This is going to bug fixes. So we'll go ahead and do it. But yeah, um, that is that. So now let's get into, let's see if I can adjust my home screen here. Oh, I can remove this. So that's good. I like being able to remove things that I'm not generally going to use. So let's get into the home screen settings. And I cannot get five across, but we can get the default app tray, which means I get to swipe up now and it takes everything off the home screen. So, I mean, you have your Google feed over there and we'll go ahead and remove these one more time. I don't like having four across. When I see people using four across, often I envy them because I don't know how they do it. I, I don't know how they do it. It's, it's incredible. I cannot use four across. I, I, I'll go ahead and definitely, definitely remove that as soon as possible. I'll put a launcher on. I've been putting my favorite launcher on these devices now. Uh, but uh, let's get into the rest of the phone here. Do we see any blueware? Do we see, do we see Facebook? We don't. We don't see Facebook. So right now there are no photos in this device. Absolutely none. I don't want to back up anything. So let's get into the camera. And you can see there's an there's the ultra wide right there. And it goes to picture instantly when I do that, because there's no ultra wide video, I would assume. Let's go to video. Oh yeah, there's ultra wide video. I don't know why I did that. Okay, there we go. So picture, this is what you got. You have HDR. Let's go into settings real quick. I'm going to set this up right here. This is how the settings look on here. Uh, so you've got, I love to put the watermark on, mark on. I, 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 I have to have the watermark because I want you guys to see if I'm posting on social media what it is you're 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 actually getting a, a, a picture from. So that solves that. So we got picture size, 16 megapixel. It's set all the way up to 16 megapixel, which is good. So on the highest, this, this one came default at the highest. I'm, I'm surprised. And then you have other options here. You got your timer, uh, you've got the anti-flicker, all the basics. Yeah. So let's switch over to video. Let's see what options we got here. Looks like it's already set to 2K, which is 2560 by 1440. Uh, microphone's on, uh, yeah, grid lines, it, everything's set. Uh, and so yeah, that that's pretty simple. And here's your night vision right here. This is pretty cool right here. Um, you can switch it to photo or video. That is really cool. So you basically will have clear video. It's just in night vision mode in black and white. Really nice. Then you can go straight to a 108 megapixel shot. I like that they have it right here. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and grab uh, something here. Let's just take a photo of this. Folks, I gotta say that that's beautiful actually. Not too much shutter lag. <laughs> All right, so the processing time there. Gotcha. Let's see if I can zoom. That's pretty decent. I mean, it's not the best quality, but again, I say, I say it's the limitations of the processor. So let's go ahead and take a regular shot. Now this looks pretty clear. Yeah, and then you get to do the S1090. Yeah, that's, that's decent. It's decent. I mean, you can't front. This is a this is a water resistant device. So we get over to more real quick before I show a little bit of video. You've got a pro mode, a portrait mode, a um, GIF mode, panorama, mono, QR scanner, and so on and so on. You even have a beauty mode down here uh, for the ladies and some fellas if that's what you want to do. All right, so I'm gonna step off camera and just shoot up a little video up here of my sign or something. So. Actually, you know what? I'll just do it right here. Same thing. And it has the ultra wide as well. Now the ultra wide actually doesn't go as wide as I thought, but it is ultra wide. 
And you have HDR as well. You can turn that on and off. Okay, no HDR video though. So here's a quick sample from the S100 shooting right here in my office. A little video sample. <laughs> I sounded like a commercial. Let's stop. All right, so let's play that back on these speakers. So here's a quick sample from the S100 shooting right here in my office. A little video sample. <laughs> I sounded like a commercial. Let's stop. So here's a quick sample. So um, I can tell you that video is probably going to do really good outside. Like word, that's that's going to be some really decent video. So what do you think? Have they done it right? Have Have they done right by you again? I personally feel like this is a major, major win for, for, um, I'm going to charge it up. Normally when I get these in, I give you this long run through like this and then I go ahead and charge it up and then I start testing. So again, if you haven't seen the other VMAX video, apologize for that, but we're going to take it easy this time. I won't do 20 feet drop, <laughs> uh, but we're going to, um, put this through the paces. I really want to show you the cameras. So I, I work out every day, twice a day. So I'll take it on that walk at some point and I'll come back with some video footage and overall experience. I'm going to charge this to hundred percent. This is the introduction of the brand new Doogee S100. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully I answered enough in this video to give you some sense of what you're going to get when you decide to purchase this. And remember, if you're watching this and you don't see a buy it now link in the description, that means that you're watching it before the launch of the uh, of the phone. I get that VIP from Doogee. Just kidding. It's your man Jay. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Take care.